Hey everyone, thanks for stopping back in. Can you believe it's actually October already? I don't even know where this year has gone. Between family and uh, work, it just seems to be flying by. Well, for this update, I decided to try to bring out my little friend here. This is a yellow banded possum wrasse. I call him Gizmo. He's actually the uh, only fish in the tank right now. I get a lot of questions saying, do I even have any fish? Yep, I got one in there. And uh, I did have a Springer Damsel, but uh, he was really beating them up really bad. I felt bad for him. These are very peaceful and shy fish. So uh, they do very well with only peaceful fish. So uh, I figure, you know, pretty much dedicate the tank to him. Now let's get on to some of the review and some of these corals here. Uh, this Acropora has uh, pretty much stayed exactly the same for quite some time. Um, I did have a problem two months ago that I corrected. And ever since I did two months ago, you noticed the very top actually grew a lot in a short period of time. I'm kind of shocked. Um, the problem is, is that I end up getting like a, uh, API test kit, uh, for, for a, uh, gift. So I, of course I end up using it and I was using it to test the alkalinity. Now it's one of those test kits where it starts off blue and by the time you're done, it's supposed to be yellow, but in between is green. And you know, when you're doing each drop, it's like, well, is it yellow? Is it yellowish green? Or I'll put one more drop in there and yeah, it's definitely yellow now. It's yellow. So that's where I got to be. So I'm like, all right, I'm, I'm like eight and nine. I'm, I'm good for my DKH. It's awesome. So I end up getting a Hannah checker and uh, I end up getting the alkalinity one and I tested my water and it came in at 6.5. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. So I end up testing again, 6.6. I'm like, okay. I'm like, well, this is definitely not good. So the entire time I've been running low DKH. I've been uh, dosing one milliliter per day and thinking everything's fine. Um, I end up having to dose 2.5 now. And this is also between weekly water changes. Um, my calcium has been great though. Uh, but you know, once again, it's a lesson learned the two months ago when I started doing it. And now I've noticed a lot of growth on the Acropora and the Millipora this time. So I'm going to have to chalk it up to a lesson learned and it's just a shame I didn't pick up on it sooner. Um, but everything else though was doing good. I mean, you know, nothing died, but, uh, it, it, as far as growth rate, I probably could have had better growth on certain corals if I would have caught that sooner. And you can see right here, the Millipora is actually on the rock now. It totally encrusted the plug. Um, but, you know, it is what it is, and I'm just going to keep on moving forward from there. Another thing that I have to uh, really mention is that a lot of people are wondering what's going on with this contest. Uh, is it still on? Is it off? No one's really answering anything. Uh, I did reach out to DC. He did say he is going to uh, talk about and everything, and he is going to end up still making a championship belt for this contest. But he can't speak for everyone else that's supposed to... Uh, you know, pretty much hold up to their end of the bargain as far as what all the prizes they said they were throwing in originally. Um, so hopefully everyone holds up uh, to their end of the bargain and uh, hopefully, you know, everything works out good. There's not a lot of us left. There's just a handful of us, honestly, that are still doing this monthly. And, uh, you know, it's nice to see the support of the people still, um, you know, so hopefully in the end, uh, you know, we'll find out. But uh, I'm definitely going to do this to the end of the year and I'm going to see what happens. Uh, so another question uh, I've been getting too is uh, what I do differently to this tank. Um, I did change the top to it uh, in order to allow better light through. The standard screen just wasn't really doing it for me. And I still am rocking the Hippogaro. Uh, this thing's still doing good. It's growing coral as you can see if you follow me from the beginning. I did upgrade the uh, filter to an MJ900, I believe it is. And uh, also I made a media basket in order to hold my um, Great Clerpa and I bought the uh, tower and I have the filter pads in the top and I have the Chemi Pure Nano Packets in the middle. Um, another thing two people have asked me for is about what light I have in the back for my Refugium. I end up building it. I end up getting lights off of Amazon. Uh, they come in a four pack, uh, but you don't have to put them all together. I only needed three, keep the other one as an extra. I ended up using a plastic sign and uh, I end up using like the stuff you end up uh, enclosing lattice with and uh, use it as a rail system in order to uh, pretty much make my box. So it'll look like that. And it's mounted by uh, two-sided Velcro. And uh, things really doing great. And that about does it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching.